thank you for inviting me uh, in annual Korea American Spine Society. Uh, my name is Jin Soo Song. I'm an uh, ID specialist, and uh, I'm currently working at uh, Division of Risk Assessment and International Cooperation at the Korean CDC. So today I'm going to talk about the effect of COVID-19 from South Korea's perspective after briefly touching upon uh, the current situation and Korea's response to COVID-19. So please understand that I'm virtually ignorant of spine surgery. So most of what I'm going to talk about uh, comes from medical and public health perspective. So major pillars of public health response for COVID-19 in Korea is not so different from those in other countries. So we're focusing on traditional public health measures such as early case identification, isolation of cases, contact tracing, and quarantines of contact. So Korea has quickly expanded diagnostic tests early in the epidemic, immediately after obtaining uh, genetic material from uh, Wuhan, China. So for uh, efficient and safe specimen collection, uh, we uh, introduced, introduced screening stations such as drive through or walk-in uh, screening centers in multiple cities. So uh, this slide shows the timeline, the progress of the situation and how our government responded to COVID-19 uh, uh, until early May. Uh, so after mm, a cluster of cases of unknown pneumonia was first reported, uh, Korea CDC and our government issued alert level one and began to prepare for possible importation of COVID-19. The alert level increased to level two yellow color as the first case was confirmed and then to level three orange and then to highest level four, uh, which is the, the in response to large cluster linked to a religious sect uh, called the Shincheonji at Daegu and uh, Gyeongbuk province. Oops. So oops. now, um, more recently, we have had difficulty in dealing with and suppressing small and medium-sized outbreaks uh, derived from multiple community outbreaks and imported cases from abroad. So as of uh, June, 9, uh, June 29, the total number of confirmed cases is uh, 12,757 of which uh, almost 90% was released from isolation. So um, uh, at the moment, average daily confirmed cases are somewhere between 30 to 90, uh, 30 to 50. So since COVID-19 outbreak can occur in any confined, crowded and closed contact environment, uh, we uh, KCDC advises uh, postponing or switching to non-phase non-face-to-face -face method in all social gatherings. Uh, talking about earlier success of responding to COVID-19 in Korea, uh, here are some factors that many experts mentioned. So with basic principles of, of epidemiologic investigation, such as uh, test, trace, and treat, uh, our government adopted a mass testing for early detection. So instead of very restrictive, uh, restrictive measures or total lockdown, uh, our policy of extensive tracing was adopted. So, and moreover, to avoid the uh, health system crisis due to overloaded hospitalized patients, community treatment centers are set up to accommodate mild or asymptomatic cases, which enables uh, effective resource allocation. And again, uh, and in, in addition, uh, thanks to universal health coverage in South Korea, all patients have uh, basically access to uh, free treatment covered by Korean national health uh, insurance scheme. So financial burden of treatment is minimized for almost all patients. Lastly, a painful experience of MERS outbreak in 2015 has led to lessons learned and a quick response from both public and the uh, uh, government. So public, or public is also prepared to accept the extensive contact tracing for effective detection at the expense of privacy. Now uh, let's switch gears and talk about the effect of COVID-19 on some infectious diseases. The first of all, 
when you look at the uh, this graph uh, on the left side, you will notice that uh, influenza epidemic during this year, 2019 to 20, was exceptionally short, and epidemic peak was low uh, in compared with with the previous years seasons in Korea. Moreover, uh, influenza epidemic pattern was was bimodal in previous years. But when you look at this graph, uh, there is a no uh, the, no 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 peak in the spring. So there are there have been rarely been circulating in spring in 2020. Usually it's a subtype B influenza. And in the same vein, number of uh, suspected cases of hand foot mouth disease, which are most uh, uh, prevalent in South Korea among toddlers, uh, this has dropped below average cases in previous years. The epidemic character conjunctivitis is the same situation. Uh, with regard to waterborne and foodborne disease outbreaks, uh, number of outbreak in 2020 has prominently decreased uh, compared to the last years. So again, the hand hygiene and enhanced social distancing may play a critical role in reducing uh, other infectious diseases in South Korea. Uh, in terms of vaccination rate, pediatric routine vaccination in the first quarter 2020, like a varicella, measles, pertussis, mumps, pneumococcus, remains almost the same in comparison with the last year, which is somewhat different from the other countries, uh, like a US. I think uh, uh, US your vaccination rate is quite uh, dramatically uh, declined during the uh, pandemic. But Korea is a, somewhat different. However, if you, lo if you look at um, uh, the polysaccharide vaccination, it's uh, used for adult over 65. Uh, you will notice that vaccination rate has significantly declined, almost one third of rate in 2019. So the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is a reminder of the importance of vaccination. The identified decline in some vaccines indicates that some risk group and community may face increased risk of outbreak of uh, vaccine uh, preventable disease. Oops. Okay, uh, it's, uh, this slide shows the, uh, the number of emergency department visits. It's uh, derived from NADIS, National Emergency, emergency Department Information System. Uh, during an early epidemic, uh, early phase of COVID-19 ED visits were substantially lower than uh, the same weeks uh, during the previous year, which is coinciding with the early weeks after declaration of a high solid level. It's uh, uh, February 23. So this trend in South Korea seems to be quite similar to what's happening in other affected countries, including US and Canada. And, okay. So here is uh, the effect of spinal surgery. Uh, when you look at the graph on the left side, the number of OPD visits dropped significantly in March when compared with the average number of OPD visits during the same period of previous three years. So this result suggests that outbreak COVID-19 in South Korea may have affected the patient distance to visit. Oh, no, no, no. It's a, yeah, patient distance to visit hospital via uh, OPD. However, if you look at the uh, graph, the bar graph on the right side, the total number of surgeries performed during the review period did not show any uh, significant difference and the proportion of disease entities were not different as well. So this suggests that patient with severe pain, neurological deficits, or severe trauma still visited the hospital regardless of uh, COVID-19 outbreak. So let's sum up the, uh, the, my slides. So uh, although I didn't put this one uh, in my slide, excess deaths, it's, which means the uh, number of deaths above the expected deaths have been observed in a, a couple of countries including South Korea, UK, uh, US. That means 
some will be unre- unrecorded COVID-19 victim, but others may be the result of the strain uh, on the healthcare system. For example, a uh, recent survey in South Korea, recent research shows that 9 to 10 percent uh, mortality increase in uh, Daegu and Gyeongbuk province, which is the hardest hit by COVID-19 in South Korea. Uh, and in addition, in the near term, healthcare system will face two major additional collateral issues. The first will be the, uh, the physical and mental exhaustion of health workforce. And second one is uh, the growing backlog of healthcare procedures. So a uh, fear of high-risk patient to consult a doctor is now disrupting chronic disease management and delaying some critical care procedures in South Korea. In addition, containment measures uh, compounded by the economy recession will uh, definitely affect mental health, like uh, anxiety, depression, and also physical health. So like uh, weight gain, unbalanced nutrition could be a huge problem uh, in the next uh, few years. That's the end of my talk. Thank you.